Hello class, today we're going to talk about chapter 7 in your textbook, Psychiatric and Related Drugs. Our chapter topics include depression and mood disorders, schizophrenia and psychosis, anxiety, sleep and sleep disorders, alcohol dependence, and complementary and alternative therapies. Our learning objectives include differentiating antidepressant, antipsychotic, and anti-anxiety agents. Discussing the antidepressant classes, their uses, and their side effects. Describing the mechanism of lithium and other drugs used in treating bipolar disorders. Listing the antipsychotics and the drugs that prevent their side effects. Defining anxiety, stating its symptoms, and describing the drugs used in its treatment. And recognizing the course and treatment of panic disorder, insomnia, and alcoholism. Depression is classified as um, feelings of pessimism, worry, intense sadness, loss of concentration, slowing of mental processes, and problems eating and sleeping. Mania is the mood of extreme excitement, excessive elation, hyperactivity, agitation, and increased psychomotor activity. Bipolar disorder is um, defined as mood swings that alternate between periods of major depression and periods of mild to severe chronic agitation. Post-traumatic stress disorder, or PTSD, is persistent anxiety or recurrent fear after a terrifying event. And seasonal affective disorder is depression which occurs in the fall and winter and remits in the spring and summer. Neurotransmitters are a chemical produced by a nerve cell which is involved in transmitting information in the body. These include serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Antidepressants delay the onset of um, 10 to 21 days. They must never be used on an as-needed basis, and the medication guide must be dispensed every time an antidepressant is dispensed. There's different types of um, antidepressants. Um, the first class we're going to talk about is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, or SSRIs. Um, the way they work is they block the reuptake of serotonin. Um, they do have some side effects, including nausea, vomiting, dry mouth, drowsiness, insomnia, headache, diarrhea, sexual dysfunction, and serotonin syndrome. Patients wish antidepressants worked immediately but it's important to realize that they may take four weeks for the medication to achieve the full effect. Antidepressants should help with sleep problems within a week or so, but other psychiatric effects may take longer to achieve full efficacy. Um, drugs that are classified as SSRIs include fluoxetine or Prozac, citalopram, escitalopram, fluvoxamine, paroxetine, and sertraline. These are all really common SSRIs. Um, they usually work around the same way. Um, the therapeutic uses all include depression, OCD, and um, some also include anxiety. Serotonin and norepinephrine reuptake inhibitors, or SNRIs, block the reuptake of serotonin and norepinephrine. Um, one example of an SNRI is Cymbalta. Um, the Class side effects include nausea, vomiting, insomnia, agitation, and drowsiness. There's some more examples of SNRIs, um, Pristique, Cymbalta, Fetzema, and Effexor. Um, cyclic antidepressants and tricyclic antidepressants are TCAs. Um, the therapeutic use is depression and bedwetting. Um, they produce anticholinergic effects and um, postural hypotension, arrhythmias, CNS toxicity, and sedation. The tetracyclic antidepressant blocks receptors that normally inhibit release of serotonin and norepinephrine. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors, or MAOIs, um, these are a very old class of, of antidepressant drugs and they're, they're not used nearly as much anymore. But the way they work is they inhibit the activity of the enzymes that break down the catecholamines, resulting in higher neurotransmitter levels in the synapse. And they're generally just prescribed to treat atypical depression. Um, some other antidepressant drugs include uh, bupropion and trazodone. 
Different classes of drugs are used to manage depression. SSRIs, SNRIs, TCAs, and monoamine oxidase inhibitors. Um, bipolar disorder and the symptoms. Um, during the manic episodes, the, there's a decreased need to sleep and increased distractibility, elevated or irritable mood, excessive involvement in pleasurable activity, grandiose ideas, increase in activity, emotional lability, lability and racing thoughts. Um, during your depressive episodes, you experience sadness, excessive crying, loss of pleasure, difficulty concentrating, irritability, and thoughts of death or suicide. Drugs that are used to treat bipolar disorder um, include lithium. Um, the way lithium works is it, it's believed to alter neurotransmitter levels or cause changes in brain receptor sensitivity. It's used to treat bipolar disorder, acute mania, prophylaxis of bipolar disorders, and unipolar depression. Um, other drugs used in bipolar disorder include carbamazepine or Tegretol and devil prox, um, which is also known as Depakote. Schizophrenia and psychosis. Um, symptoms of schizophrenia include positive, um, positive, positive symptoms, including hallucinations and delusions, and negative symptoms, which include withdrawal, ambivalence, behavior changes, memory loss, and confusion. Treatment for schizophrenia as a typical antipsychotic, um, they block dopamine receptors in all four dopamine pathways, and they lead to unfavorable side effects. But atypical antipsychotics block dopamine receptors in the limbic system pathway instead of all four pathways, which lead to improved efficacy and fewer side effects. This is a list of different antipsychotic medications and their side effects, and then the descriptions of those side effects. Um, early onset symptoms include dystonia, which is tongue protrusion or difficulty talking and swallowing, and akathisia, which is an inability to sit or stand still, feeling of apprehension, irritability, and uneasiness, and then pseudo-Parkinsonism, which includes tremors, rigidity, slow movement, shuffling gait, and drooling. Um, I've included some videos of these um, in your Module 9 um, activities, so you can see um, patients with akathisia and pseudoparkinism. Examples of these agents include flufenazine, haloperidol, perfenazine, prochlorperazine, thiorazine, and trifluoperazine. Atypical antipsychotic medications work by um, blocking dopamine and some enhance it. Um, here's some anxiety is a state of uneasiness characterized by apprehension and worry about possible events. Exogenous anxiety it develops in response to external stressors, and endogenous activity or anxiety is not related to any identifiable external factors. It occurs as a result of a cellular function um, abnormally in the central nervous system. Anti-anxiety agents include SSRIs and SR SNRIs, as we mentioned previously, um, benzodiazepines, and other anti-anxiety agents. Benzodiazepines stimulate GABA receptors in the CNS, thereby causing drowsiness and relaxation. Examples of these agents include alprazolam, chlordiazepoxide, chlorazepate, clonazepam, diazepam, lorazepam, and oxazepam. Patients who consistently request refills of benzodiazepines a few days early could be exhibiting physical or psychological dependence. Um, alert the prescriber if you receive frequent authorization requests from the pharmacy as this could be a sign that dependence is developing. Some patients may need to um, stop taking these drugs and, drugs and may benefit from an intervention. Um, some other anti-anxiety agents include um, Buspar and Vistaril. What drugs are used to treat anxiety? Some benzodiazepines, Buspirone and Hydroxazine. 
<clears throat> Panic disorder is another form of anxiety. Um, description is a sense of fear, apprehension, and premonition of a serious illness, a fear of life-threatening attack. It may occur in public or at home, and it may interrupt sleep. Symptoms include um, palpitations, chest pain, choking sensation, dizziness, feelings of unreality, tingling in the hands or feet, hot or cold flashes, sweating, numbness, and trembling. The cause um, can be amplified of incoming messages to part of the brain stem, resulting in excessive arousal, excessive autonomic discharges, and increased respiratory drive. The treatment for panic disorder includes psychotherapy, short-term short anxiety agents, and other agents. There's different stages of sleep. Um, we're going to discuss sleep and sleep disorders. First stage of sleep involves non-rapid eye movement, or NREM. Um, subject somewhere somewhat aware of surroundings and is relaxed. It accounts for 4 to 5 percent of the sleep time. Stage 2 involves non-rapid eye movement. Um, the subject is unaware of the surroundings but can easily be awakened. This accounts for 50 percent of sleep time. And stages three and four involve REM or a rapid eye movement. Um, it <laughs> increased autonomic activity in episodes of REM sleep with dreaming. It accounts for 20 to 25 percent of sleep time and is important for physical rest. Insomnia is difficulty falling or staying asleep. It may be a chronic condition or a short-term problem or transient. Transient is not considered a sleep disorder, but a response to an acute stressful event that is expected to improve with time. There's different causes of insomnia, including situational, um, which may be job stress, hospitalization, or travel. Um, medical, including respiratory problems or GI problems. Psychiatric, um, schizophrenia, depression, or mania, or drug-induced um, from alcohol, caffeine, or sympo, <coughs> excuse me, sympathetic agents. Treatment of sleep disorders, um, probably want to try non-drug therapy first, which includes normalizing the sleep schedule for bedtime and waking times, increasing physical activity during the day, discontinuing the use of alcohol as a sedative, sleeping a total of only seven to eight hours in a 24-hour period, reducing caffeine and nicotine intake, and eliminating any drug that could lead to insomnia. <clears throat> Benzodiazepines are used um, to treat sleep disorders. They um, cause muscle weakness, impaired reflexes, constipation, difficulty awakening in the morning, and residual daytime drowsiness. <clears throat> Some of these examples would include um, Restoril, Halcyon, Doral, Dalmain, and Prosom. <clears throat> Rosarem mimics melatonin, but is more potent than melatonin. It's also used to treat sleep disorders. Um, <clears throat> Z drugs are a class of drug um, that has no short life, or I'm sorry, a short half life, which um, it leads to no significant effect on REM sleep. Um, Ambien CR is, is in this class of drugs. Other drugs that are in the Z drugs include Lunesta, Sonata, um, in Ambien. What are the brand names of the non-benzodiazepine sleep aids? Lunesta, Rosarim, Sonata, Ambien. Narcolepsy is a sleep disorder involving recurrent and appropriate episodes of sleep during daytime hours. <clears throat> um, it's characterized by sleepy feeling during daytime with almost immediate progression to REM sleep. Um, cataplexy or short periods of muscle tone loss associated with joy, fear, or anger, sleep paralysis when falling asleep or waking up, and vivid hallucinations at onset of sleep. There's different treatments for narcolepsy. Um, Non-drug therapy includes consistent sleep schedules, avoidance of shift work, and avoidance of alcohol. <clears throat> um, there are drugs to treat um, narcolepsy as well, including ProVigil and NuVigil. Um, <clears throat> they increase the blood pressure and heart rate, and they may impair ability to perform hazardous activities. Um, they should be used with caution. Alcohol dependence is a pattern of alcohol use involving problems controlling drinking, preoccupation with alcohol, use of alcohol even when it causes problems, drinking more to get the same effect, or having withdrawal symptoms with rapidly decreasing or stopping drinking. 
alcohol tolerance is increased ability to rapidly metabolize ethanol and neurons in the central nervous system adapt to the presence of alcohol. Um, impacts of alcohol dependence on your health include obesity, vitamin deficiency, gastritis, organic brain damage, alcohol psychosis and dementia, and cirrhosis. <clears throat> um, alcohol dependence also can um, have problems when withdrawing from that alcohol. Um, <clears throat> the withdrawal symptoms include agitation, circulatory disturbances, convulsions, delirium, tremors, digestive disorders, disorientation, extreme fear, hallucinations, mental disturbances, nausea and vomiting, restlessness, sweating, temporary suppression of REM sleep, tremors, and weakness. There's different treatments for alcohol withdrawal. Um, some may include benzodiazepines, anticonvulsants, beta blockers, or antipsychotics. <clears throat> so Camprol is another um, drug that's used to treat alcohol dependence, and it's called an alcohol antagonist, and it restores balance between neural excitation, which neuronal inhibition, which um, reduces the negative effects of abstinence from alcohol. Another one is antabuse. Um, it stops the metabolism of alcohol at the acetaldehyde stage, allowing it to accumulate in body tissues. When alcohol is consumed, um, it causes violent side effects instantly. Um, normally, that just includes um, vomiting. Um, there's also Revia, um, which blocks the effects of endogenous opioids. Um, release as a result of alcohol consumption, making alcohol consumption less pleasurable. There's also some complementary and alternative therapies, including melatonin, which helps regulate circadian rhythms, and kava, which affects GABA and dopamine in the brain. Um, also, St. John's wort, and acts similarly, uh, similarly to SSRIs. So that's all for chapter seven. If you all have any questions, please let me know.